What's up guys, it's Juan. I'm back with another video. Um, and ever since I posted my last video, a couple of you guys have asked me how I got my setup. Uh, so, most of you guys know from now on, if you have a newer device and you're updated to the latest OS, Apple uh, gave you the ability to add widgets to your home screen. Some people use them, some people don't. Uh, but it's a, a good way to get some more information on the home screen as well as the ability to uh, Change your icons before it was a little bit different. You had to go into uh, Siri shortcuts and create separate icons uh, Individually, uh, but now there's an app in the App Store that makes it a little bit easier to get that done so I'm gonna start from the beginning and I'm gonna do this whole process over again Just Give me one second real quick So this is the way I have it set up now. And I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna redo this setup over again for you guys. So give me one second, let me unlock this real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything that I have on here. So general, profiles. So I'm running iOS 14, iOS 14 beta but I'm gonna remove the profiles I have set up in order for you guys to get those icons and I'll show you how to put them back on. So now if I go back to my home screen, uh, it's blank and it only has the widgets that I set up. And these are the widgets that I have, uh, pretty much Apple Music widget or my podcast I can switch to do. Uh, my weather, if I want to see the calendar, I can switch to that. And this is my YouTube subscriber count. Uh, if you're interested in that, that is from an app called Social Widgets that you can get. All right, so this is how you get started. Of course, you can, normally you would have your icons on there. I like to start with a clean slate. Uh, so you're not uh, having a hard time moving icons all, all throughout the screens just to get your setup. So start with a clean slate. Get rid of the icons you want to get rid of. And then that way, when you have the new icons, you, you can just move into the spots where you want them. So I'm starting clean. I'm going to go into the app that I'm telling you guys to get. So it's called Moloco. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, but that's the way it's spelled. So if you go into this app, it's going to show you uh, a couple of different icon sets. And I've gone through this app a couple of times throughout the weeks and every time I go into it, there's new icons. So they update this app pretty regularly. But as you can see, there's a lot of icons on here that you can pick through. And they also even have the Big Sur ones, which is pretty cool. And there's more of like a 3D-ish uh, icon set. Uh, but it's pretty cool. This is the one that I had, the darker black. And uh, this is how I got my minimal OLED home screen setup. Uh, so this is the icons that I had. When you download this app, like I said, you're going to see these icons. Then after you choose the icon set you're going to want, you're going to hit get. And then it'll take you to a little preview style window, sort of like kind of like the iOS app store where it'll give you some screenshots of what the app might look like, but this is a screenshot of what the icons might look like. And then you have two options. You can do um, system apps or you can do third-party apps. Normally people do both because they have system apps that are built in as well as third-party apps. So if you go into uh, the system apps, let's do that one first. We're gonna hit download and it's gonna ask you to download a profile. So you're gonna hit allow and then hit close. When you're done, you're gonna go into your settings and you're gonna see that downloaded profile which says darker black system apps. When you click it, you're gonna hit install at the top right and then put in your passcode. I don't want you guys to see my passcode. So I popped it in, I'm gonna hit install and then hit done. Boom, so now it no longer says downloaded, now it says one of the configuration profiles. So that means it's installed. When I swipe up, now you can see there's a whole bunch of different icons. 
that look kind of like the iOS stock icons, but they're dark. So they have a black border instead of a colored or white border around it. So once you do this, you're going to take your icons and you're going to put them where you would normally want them. So edit your home screen and then put them where you want them. So mine's were down here. And then I had the Apple Music. So some of these some of these icon sets won't have all the third party apps that you might have in your phone. Um, that's just, you're just gonna have to search through icon packs to see which one has more of the apps that you have, uh, down, uh, icon sets. Uh, but like I said, I, I've downloaded some icon packs and they didn't have like the Chase app or the YouTube Studio app uh, in a different style. So uh, you can either use the stock icon that's still in your app library. You can pull it and take it out or you can just search for another icon set that will have that icon. So these are the icon sets I use. Okay, so I put them on the bottom, you see? And then uh, what else did I have on my home screen? Let me take a look here because I took a screenshot of it. So I could put everything back the way it was. Boom, 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 give me one second. So on my home screen I had my mail icon. So like I said, you're going to go to your home screen and drag the icons you want. And it's going to replace the stock iOS icons that were originally on your home screen. So you kind of just got to go through this and organize. And sorry guys, during the ending of that video, my last couple minutes got cut off. Uh, but pretty much what I was telling you guys, follow those steps. Um, download that app. Moloko, get your icon set. Uh, once the icons show up on your home screen, all you have to do is organize them into wherever you want to put them. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, you'll have a custom looking iPhone, uh, at least a custom looking iPhone home screen that'll look a little bit different than everyone else's. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. This is what I ended up with. Um, and I pretty much like it. Like I said, it's kind of like an OLED minimalist look. Uh, you don't see the borders of the icons. Everything looks pretty clean. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys, you know, love the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me if you can. That really helps me to continue making these videos. If you have any questions, of course, drop it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get at it. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I said, enjoy the video. Enjoy customizing your home screen. And uh, that's it. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Wear a mask. Peace.